this video, I'll be showing you how to build a small electric motor using materials you may find around your house. It will work similar to or it will work the same as this larger electric motor that we got from a broken hand blender. For this motor, you'll need one AA battery to power the motor, two safety pins, one roll of electrical tape or scotch tape, one small magnet, and around 40 centimeters of thinly insulated copper wire. I got my copper wire from the bro the motor that came from the broken hand hand blender. So now we're going to start building the motor. And first, we have to make the rotor or spinning part. So first, we're going to cut this wire in 40 40 to 40 centimeters long, which is here. So now, you're going to take your battery and place it in the middle. About the middle. And then coil the wire three times around each direction. So one, two, three. About like that. Since this is a bit longer than the other one, I'm just gonna snip this off a bit. So there we have this thing that's cold around the battery. Now you're gonna have to take that off, and you do but make sure this like put your finger through it so it stays as a coil, or else it'll uncoil. So make this into put like coiled around more until it's these two ends are exactly opposite. It's important that you have them in the middle of the circle or else the the motor won't work properly. It's, it's a bit tricky. Now, I think I've got it in the middle ish. So now you're gonna uh, push this into the middle of it and then Wind it like that about two times. One, two, like that. And pull. And make sure this is exactly opposite of the other one. So I think I've got this in the middle. Also, you have to be a bit careful with the tips of the wire because it's a bit pointy. Get poked. So you see how this side is a bit longer. You're gonna snip it off because you want them to have even sides. And now. Another important thing that you have to do now is, um, see the ends, you have to scrape off the top layer of the, of the insulated place on the ends of the wire, so I'm going to scrape it off with the scissors-ish. If you have a knife, that's great too, but it's better if you use a knife, but you also have to be careful when you're doing this, so. Scrape off one half. It has to be one half. Uh. Mm -hmm. The insulation. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see what that is. Uh, yep, that's about one half. And whoops. Do with the other one too other side and make sure it's the same half as that you did with the other one. Mm -hmm. 
So we've just finished building the little rotor here. So some of the key p key points of it is that it's a coil uh, the, of wire, and the two shafts are going straight through the middle of the coil. Let's see, and we scraped off half of the inf insulation on the sh two shafts sticking out of the wire or the coil. So I'm going to put that aside. Action. Now we're going to start building the base of the motor. So you, for this, you're going to need the battery, again, and the magnet, two safety pins, and I pre-cut two pieces of electrical tape. You, As I said earlier, you can also use scotch tape, but I prefer to use electrical tape. So you're going to take the battery, stick the electrical tape on one side, doesn't matter what size it is, and then and one of the most important things that I can tell you here is to make this thing, it has to be touching the ends of the battery when it has to come into contact. So I'm going to tape that there like that. Make sure it touches it on the tape. And I'm going to do that same thing the other side too. There. So now I have this, and again, this is easier. I'm gonna stick the magnet in the middle there, and then we're almost done. I'm gonna place the rotor that you built earlier in these two th holes like that, and spin it. It should work. And, oh, see, it's kind of spinning. Oh. It'll keep spinning until the battery dies, or if it's a bit lopsided like this, then just take it out and just switch, slide these around, just try to make it as straight as possible, and then we can try it again. Oops. So there, you've made yourself a little motor, and you're gonna, see, it's spinning by itself until the battery dies. So there. So here we are, we have our finished motor. This is a great little experiment that I learned from the Spark Museum at Bellingham. This, sh this experiment shows how mo electric motors work, from the small ones to the big ones. Thanks for watching.